3D displays comes in two variants which I have now. So I have two uh, types of OLED displays. So one is the 128 into 64 OLED displays. That means it has 128 into 64 OLEDs in it. And then we have I have the 128 into 32 OLED display which has 128 into 32 OLEDs. So first I'll show you how to program this. 128 into 64 OLED display and then it will be very easy to program the 128 into 32 OLED display. So any OLED display would contain 4 pins in this I square C in basically in I square C OLED. So in this OLED display we have the VCC pin, the ground pin and the SCL pin and the SDA pin. So the VCC pin and the ground pins are the power pins. So VCC is 5 volts and ground pin is the negative. And then in a same as the uh, 128 into 32 OLED, uh, 128 into 64 OLED display in the 128 into 32 OLED display also we have the same pin the ground pin the VCC and the SCL and SD so um, you know in this video I'm going to use this Arduino you know and then in Arduino you know we have the 5 5 volts as the ground pin sorry 5 volts uh, to the VCC pin and then ground to ground of OLED and then we have S and then we have this SCL and SDA pins here which are above the AREF pin these two pins are SCL and SDA so first is SDA and then is SCL okay, and then we just connect the uh, SCL, SCL of the Arduino to the SCL of uh, the OLED and SDA of the Arduino to the SCL, SDA of the OLED so let's connect so let's do some YouTube magic So we connected the pins and then we just connect the cable to connect it to the laptop. Now we are going to program the OLED display. So for that you need to just download the OLED display head file which is UIG2 library. I will leave the link in the description you can download from this website which is from github and then you can go to the examples and then open uh, so the example, or some of the example codes are available and then you guys go to and then the hello world so in this PC you need to uncommon the the device which you like the OLED uh, model which you use and then yeah you got some thing uh, which is uh, connecting through the SQC bus so uncommon it and then just go so it's hello world I didn't change it anymore but it's okay uh, I, uh, yeah and then just upload it So the code is uploaded. I hope you can see the hello world which is printed in a small font size. And finally I uploaded uh, the program by changing the positions of X and Y. So I printed the hello world in the middle. So it's very easy to um, connect the uh, 128 to 32 as well because you just take it out and unplug it then I will just take it out the pins are same so I don't see if I connected the same uh, correct pins or not so it's been connected and then we just uh, upload so it just got uploaded and then it says hello world so I didn't change the this is 3 into 3 or uh, the X, X and Y uh, values are 3 into 3 so it got shifted 3 values from this side and 3 values from it takes this as X axis and this as Y axis so it, it got shifted 3 values from this and 2 3 values from this we will print it in the middle let's check it for 282 so I just change the thing it's 282 once uploading and then you can also change the font uh, you just go and need to uh, search as UAG to LIB fonts or I'll, I'll leave the link in the description you can check the description for font uh, for the change of fonts so like share and subscribe